I have invited a Cub Scout, my grandson, Stephen Catania III, and his parent, my son Stephen, to participate in the demonstration of the Derby Car Wheel and Axle Workstation, which utilizes sliding platforms to which sandpaper and a file have been applied in mini lathe configuration and concept. Here we see the mini lathe workstation being leveled and positioned to lie parallel to the drill, which is placed in a vise. At this point, the, the uh, rotating axle is being leveled and is now being positioned into the workstation posts. The workstation is mounted on a small block of wood and underneath we are then leveling with books, magazines and other blocks of wood to have a level system of rotation. Four wheels are mounted on the axle rod and locked between two small anchors using an allen wrench which secures the inset screw on the anchors. The four wheels are, are thus lo locked as a single workpiece to rotate as the drill is turned on slowly. Slowly turn the, the axle rod with the drill as the scout places a thin card to which various grades of sandpaper are applied. The scout places this on the top platform and the slope platform with the sandpaper is gently pushed into the slowly rotating wheels. In a close-up view of the sandpaper, the uneven wheel tread surfaces have been sanded first as we can see on this section of the sandpaper. Areas of the irregularity, the wheels that are larger in certain sections will sand first and so the, un the surface that is sanded will look uneven. Following Boy Scout of America regulations, only a thin amount of plastic is removed from the wheel treads so that the wheel treads become flat to the surface of the track. As we have pointed out earlier, if the tread is not flat, and parallel to the axis of rotation, the wheel will try to flatten, causing increased friction at the axle wheel hub interfaces.